So I got a package from Formlabs this week and in it was the sample part that I had ordered. Now Formlabs is giving out free sample parts for everybody that wants them and I thought, well, you know, I want one. <laughs> and what I got is the Twisted Rook. And they say this part costs just about 1 year 24 in resin. Along with it comes a little booklet that advertises the Form 1 Plus. And it says that the Form 1 Plus is twice as fast as the Form 1, which is pretty impressive since they say the part took just 1 hour and 41 minutes to build. And the resin is supposedly an ABS-like polymer. And we're going to try that out in a second. So quite honestly, the Rook they sent me is a quite impressive part. It feels quite heavy and solid, but it's also got some really fine details that stand out. Now, I tried to show the layers as much as possible on this video, but honestly, when you hold the part in your hand, you can't see or feel the layers at all. Uh, only if you're rubbing over it with your fingernail, you can just barely feel them. These are 100 micron layers, but the Form 1 Plus goes down to 25 microns. On top of the part, there is some text visible that has a font height of about, I'd say, 2 millimeters. And inside the part, there is a spiral staircase going down and a DNA-like structure in the very center of the part. Now, when you look closely, you'll see some black hairs or specks on the part, and those are actually embedded into the resin. So, I guess somebody with a black t-shirt handled the part when it came fresh off the printer. Uh, the plastic itself is actually somewhat translucent, it's a whitish, creamy color, but it also lets light shine through. And along with this semi-glossy finish, I think it actually makes a really decent looking part. It does have some minor imperfections, like uh, where the light bounces off just a bit irregularly, but honestly it's a totally different level than what you get from a filament based printer. Especially the way the form labs handles sharp corners on the outside is pretty impressive. Now here you can see that DNA structure embedded in the very center of the rook. Now this last part pained me quite a bit, but you know, the things you do for science. I actually tried to break the part. And I tried twisting it, bending it just with my bare hands, but uh, I couldn't get it to split. I heard it crack once I think, but you know, it's not giving up. I'm sure I could have just crushed it in the vise, but you know, that's not the point. And honestly, I think it's actually holding up better than the part from a repair printer since I would have just split along with layers. So yeah, I really like the way the Form 1 Plus prints. And if you're looking for something that prints a bit nicer than the typical filament based printers, the Form 1 Plus might be something you'd want to look into.